School in Nashville didn't have a school resource officer on campus because the school was a private religious school. School safety experts say private schools often have fewer resources when it comes to security compared to larger public schools. Nine News reporter Steve Stager joins us now and you spent some of your day talking with private school leaders about their security. You say you found here in Colorado quite a bit of collaboration between the public and the private schools. Yeah, they're incredibly confident because here in Colorado we have an unfortunate amount of knowledge about school shootings and so a lot of public and private schools work and train together on best practices. We heard from several leaders inside private schools today that school safety is an absolute priority and events like the shooting in Nashville only helps them think about their own plans and make stronger ones down the road. The shooting at a church school in Nashville is on the nation's mind and especially on the mind of Deacon Ernie Martinez. Um, sadness, uh, absolutely sadness um, and the unfortunate uh, realization that, uh, you know, we live in a society where um, evil is, is quite rampant and uh, our most vulnerable are targets nowadays. Deacon Martinez spent 40 years on the force at Denver Police. Those decades included responding to the shooting at Columbine. Now with the Archdiocese of Denver, Martinez helps local Catholic schools with their security plans. It's a daily fact of life that needs to be addressed and uh, we continue to push that narrative. He won't go too in depth about security plans, though he says schools are alert and ready to keep kids safe. Resources are always an issue. I mean, you don't have enough resources, whether you're uh, a big school district like Denver Public Schools or the smallest you know, Christian community. So what do you do? You leverage whatever available resources you have and ensure that, that there's proper training involved and awareness and implementation of, uh, of a good uh, quality program to ensure safety. Part of that training includes collaboration. Or what's interesting in, in uh, the, the Denver metro area is that a lot of the private schools will reach out to the public school counterparts and say, hey, can you come train us or work with us? help us take a look at what we're doing. John McDonald ran security for Jeffco schools for years, now runs a nationwide organization dedicated to school safety. He says the public-private partnership in Colorado is strong. In Colorado, we've had enough school shootings that I think everybody realizes, look, we have to we have to make this a priority. Martinez says incidents like Nashville will always make school leaders check their own plans but it's so much more. Yes, Nashville re-energizes it, so to speak, but at the same time, it's an everyday practice. Martinez says there are certainly challenges, like you might inherit an old school building that needs security upgrades. That takes money, which can be in short supply for a lot of private schools. Not every school can employ a security team, but his message was very simple. Every school doing everything in its power to keep the threats out. He also talks about how that's the job of not only staff inside the school, not only the students inside the school, but parents too. Anyone who spends time around a school just kind of keeping an eye out, making sure something isn't where it shouldn't be. And does it make you feel safe? Yeah. Because I think for parents, for students, for teachers, that's what it kind of boils down to. You know, the illusion of safety is as important as safety itself and to the minds of many. Yeah. You know, you talk about hardening buildings and inheriting that school, maybe an older building that has a glass door. We saw in that video from the Nashville incident, the shooter shoots through the glass door Easily. to get inside. There are improvements that you can make now. They make film that you can put on glass that will make it a lot harder to break through. You still might be able to break through it with right. a gun, but it'll make that process a lot harder. And the thing that school safety experts say is time matters in moments like that. If you can delay somebody from getting inside of a building quickly. Seconds. Seconds matter. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that also takes money and we know takes our school money. systems, private and public, don't have. Yeah. Doors, windows, so. that would all need to be. Lighting. Addressed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so things. much to consider and it's, yeah. it's so sad we have to consider it yeah. as we go forward. Steve, thanks.